Back in a moment with that. Meanwhile, debris found in the western Indian Ocean could be the first sign of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, which went missing last year. Reports say that the debris appears to be part of a Boeing 777. My next guest is firm in his belief that it is, in fact, part of that jet model. Mike Boyd is with us from Boyd Group International. He is the president. He joins me now on the telephone. Mike, good to see you. What, uh, thanks for joining us. What gives you such, uh, such confidence that this is, in fact, part of that missing jet? Well, if it is a part of a triple seven, that's what we have to define. If it is part of a triple seven, there's only one triple seven that's gone, gone missing in that area or anywhere else in the world. So, again, what we have to wait for is positive identification of where that piece came from. But if it's a triple seven, there's no question that's Malaysian's air, airplane. If we do ascertain that this is, in fact, part of that jet, what is it? telling us? I mean, what are we looking for specifically? Uh, and, and what are we going to learn? Will we learn, for example, why the plane went down, do you think? Not from that one piece, probably, but, but at least the oceanographers could probably trace back where that piece came from before it got to Reunion Island, and then go back from there. Keep in mind that that, that entire burlesque we went through uh, in 2014 looking for the airplane was a, was a joke. It was going to be in the South China Sea. It was going to be here. It's going to be there. We're not really sure where it went down. The search area may have been, to may have been totally wrong. Mike, Michael, it's Dagan McDowell. Uh, are we doing anything, though, in terms of aviation that would make it easier to find these jets if, unfortunately, this happens again? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pursuing all kinds of things. I mean, it, it, it's one of those things where, remember, it's only happened a couple times. You had Air France, which we mm -hmm. lost for a while, and this one. So it's not like airplanes are being lost all over. But I think at this point in time, uh, I don't think it could happen again. I think airlines and aviation across the world is putting in different systems, at least to have a general idea where a air airplane is. So that's the only one. I mean, Air Asia, we knew where it was. It disappeared off the radar screen because it hit the water. Mm -hmm. So it really hasn't happened much, but they're going to be looking into that. All right, Mike. Good to have you on the program. Thanks so much for joining us and weighing in, Mike. We'll see you soon. Mike Boyd. Still